Uh, hi, my name is Steve Griever, and I'm an introductory woodworking instructor here at Madison College. Uh, my background, I've been a cabinet maker for a number of years, and I'm in charge of the UW-Madison campus shop. Um, I deal with all the carpenters and the masons down there. Um, today, we're going to be doing some fine woodworking, um, and the f key thing about doing woodworking is that the wood stock that you use has got to be a rectangular solid. It, not only does it need to be smooth, it also needs to be flat, and the edges need to be square, and all the faces need to be parallel to one another. So for our lesson today, we're going to look at how to get one of these faces flat. And to do that, we're going to use this machine called a jointer. Um, what it consists of is an outfeed table and an infeed table, and a set of knives on a cutter head which rotate this way into the wood. This infeed table is slightly lower than the outfeed table, so when we set our block of wood on here and push it into the cutter heads, it shaves off some of the wood, and after a number of passes, it makes that face smooth and flat. So we, that's our first step in getting the stock prepared for furniture making. So I'm going to turn the jointer on. Always let it come up to full speed. Place the stock on the infeed table, and you can see how this piece is twisted. It rocks. We need to get rid of that rocking motion. We'll want to use some sort of a block to keep our fingers as far from the cutter head as possible. So I'm going to take that wood and I'm going to kind of balance it on this outfeed table and push it into the jointer head. As you can see, it cuts some here and cuts some here. We need to continue to do that until we get the piece all the way cut across all the surfaces. I'm going to lower the table a little bit to take a larger cut. After multiple passes, we have all of that rough surface taken off this face of this piece of wood. And not only is it smooth, but if we lay it back on this machine surface again, you'll see that it is now flat. It does not rock any longer. So that's our first step in milling out a piece of wood. Now, as if you had a st stack of these that you were going to do, um, after a while, you get a bunch of smooth faces. What I always do is take some sort of a mark and put it on that face that I know this is a flat face and a true face. And that's going to lead us into our next step of getting the opposite side parallel to this reference face. 